Hello, everybody. It's Tanner and Chrissy back again. Huge breaking news. Uh, I had a hair appointment that was canceled, and I have hockey hair. Oh. So everyone's going to have to deal <laughs> with the hockey hair for for the duration of this episode. Hopefully, hockey hair will be fixed by next week. Uh, May I, hockey hair might need to become its own square. I mean, it might need to... <laughs> I do. I almost wore a hockey jersey, but it would it would have ruined the surprise for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so every week we go over a, a recent review over on Common Sense Education, which you can find at commonsense.org slash education. Chrissy, you've got a review for us this week. What are we going to be talking about? We are going to be talking about an app called Sanford Harmony Game Room. It is free. And... It is actually, there, there's a website you can go to and the website has a full program that you can sign up for also free. There's PD to train you on how to use this SEL program. Um, but we're not talking about that today. And the reason we're not talking about that is because the app actually has really practical, hands-on, accessible activities that I think would be really great for the beginning of the school year. So I think it's really timely. Um, and I wanted to show some of the assets that are in this app that might be helpful to you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, share this video. And what I want to show you is just the different activities that you can access. So here we have some connection cards. And what I really like is that they have tons of options. And the idea in this section is that um, kids, early childhood and upper grade, as you can see, there are different selections, can discuss these questions just to get to know one another. Um, and so the teacher, you know, doesn't have to spend a lot of time coming up with all of these icebreakers um, and get to know you activities at the beginning of the year. This app does a lot of that hard work for you. Um, and here we have some other quick connection cards um, that involve actually doing an activity with a partner, which is pretty cool. Some are expected and some are, you know, the hokey handshake is one you can see on the end there where you make up a funny handshake with a buddy. Um, so you can see how this, these would be fun and silly um, and get people interacting in a pretty um, non-threatening way. Um, and this set right here is for the whole class. So you can all come together as a community. It's not just partner-based. So there are lots of activities that you can choose. Again, early childhood and upper grade for all of these things. Um, you go back to the main menu. Um, I think next is Battle the Bully Bot. Nope, commonalities game. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, this is a quick time video. So I shot this before. Um, so then, you know, as we go down, Battle the Bully Bot is an actual um, sort of a game that talks about the SEL strategies around bullying and how to avoid it, prevent it, not how to do it. Um, this is sort of a perspective taking activity. Um, so as you can see, there are lots of things that you can explore, uh, either as pairs as a whole class. Um, and so I, I strongly encourage everybody to check this out. Um, and I can actually, why don't I, I can speed this up a little bit. Relaxation station, bloopers and boosters is actually sort of a scenario based situation where kids can figure out if people are, um, if the characters are exhibiting strong communication strategies or not so much, um, which can be helpful to kids, again, in this non-threatening way. And then ways to breathe, focus, et cetera. Um, the so, design is really, really nice. Yeah, it is it is um, really pleasing to the eye. I find it to be um, 
yeah, I find it to be friendly, easy to use. Um, and just one of those things that at the beginning of the year, when you're, when you're trying to think about community building, especially this year, if you are able to be back in the classroom and you find that kids are struggling to figure out how to interact with masks, et cetera, um, these activities might be just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, that's so true. These are, they look to be really easy to implement. Anyone can do them. And it's great for the beginning of the year or just when you sort of need a change of pace in a classroom when, when the energy level might be low. I could see this yes. being a good utility. One question I have. So I noticed the player counts vary, although most seem to be able to be done solo. If you do have more than one person, can everyone share the same device or are people meant to have each have their own device? It appears that in some of the, the games that are meant to be for pairs that you could use your own device. So there's a, an activity where kids pick a crayon with a question, a virtual crayon that has a question on it. And it looks like the kids could share a device and do this together. Um, I also imagine that, you know, the teacher could just project these things on the yeah. screen, choose a question and project it. And that way, the device question, you don't have to worry so much about that. Yeah, the, I, I wonder, on that other site you mentioned at the top of the episode, does, is there a physical version of this, I wonder? Because I could see that being a kind of compelling, like a deck of cards at a classroom. I do actually... think, yeah, and I think if you if you explore the home website, I think there are a lot of resources. And I do think, um, don't hold me to this, but I do think there is a physical version because there are different editions. So I think um, they just recently came out with a new edition. So I yeah. think there might be a physical component if, you, if that's uh, better for your classroom. So we gave this one four stars. Great rating for Sanford Harmony Game Room. Uh, totally free? Totally free. We've been on a roll with the free yeah. tools. Um, and yeah. if you want more free tools... Every Tuesday at our YouTube channel, you can tune in for more of these reviews or you could go to commonsense.org slash education to browse our full review library and a whole ton of rec lists of uh, great tools. Let me roll the old uh, bumper here, the beautiful bean footage, so to the speak. The beautiful bean footage. <laughs> yes. So we, like I said, we'll be back every Tuesday with a new video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you want to uh, stay tuned for those videos, and we will see you next week.